Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday, February 1st, and we are getting ready to go on a cruise on the Carnival Conquest. It is a seven-day cruise. We are going to be going to uh, St. Thomas, Amber Cove, San Juan, Puerto Rico, and Grand Turk. Grand Turk. Woo. Maybe not in that order because I don't remember the itinerary, but uh, anyway, so we are currently in our rental car. Yesterday, we flew into Miami, and we did some touring around, so we're going to rewind for just a second and show you what we did yesterday. Um, if you don't want to do that, go down to the timestamp below, and we will uh, take you straight to the cruise video. We made it to Miami and uh, we got off the plane and we decided that the first thing we wanted to do was come to the zoo. So we actually bought a Go Pass, which allows us to, wow, that was kind of scary. Uh, we get to see a bunch of different things. So the zoo is the first one. So here we go, let's check it out. favorite things to do when we come to a new city is always to go check out the zoo. So far this one's all right. The weather's perfect but I think we came at a time of day where a lot of the animals are napping. Yeah yeah it's been kind of interesting. Uh, we're trying to go see the giraffes though. That's what I'm really excited about. It's the he giraffes. loves giraffes. Yeah. <laughs> found the giraffes. So we just finished at the zoo. We had a great time. A um, lot of walking. 10 out of 10 would recommend renting one of their safari carts to make it through the park. Yeah, we it's actually, only like $24 too, yeah. so. Uh, 26, but yeah. we didn't make it through all the cycles because we're trying to go see some other stuff today. We're either going to head now to Jungle Island or the Seaquarium. Yeah, so we'll see when we get there. All right, so we decided on the Miami Seaquarium as our next adventure, so let's check and see what the Seaquarium has for us. So we just found out that there's a killer whale show in about two minutes, so we're gonna go hurry up and get to it right now. We've made it about halfway through the Seaquarium. It's not exactly what we expected it was gonna be. You kind of walk outside from exhibit to exhibit, but some of the animals are a little underwhelming like the penguin section it was all very glary so we couldn't exactly show it but guess we're gonna keep on trucking as we continued on zach is super depressed there are no sharks at yeah, the aquarium we made it to an aquarium and there's no sharks i'm totally disappointed completely 100 percent disappointed come on literally made it like five steps and tiffany was wrong they're sharks they're just small and they're right there where but the lady just said there, the sharks have incredibly good senses of smell. Okay. And I look down there, and there is clearly a shark right there. That is not a shark. You don't think that's a shark? No. I don't know. Maybe it's not a shark. Okay, I'd like to point out directly above my head, let me move it, there are nurse sharks. 
It's a shark. Tiffany was wrong. So I wasn't wrong. Look at their map. There are no sharks on here and there's nothing that says shark. So we are driving down I-95 South on the way to Miami and Zach has a few words for the cars on the road. Get the hell out of the way. <laughs> if you want to see road rage, I probably should be recording some of this. It's probably golden, but you know. Whose idea timing. was it to stay in West Palm Beach? No, the day before no, the no, cruise. no. Whose idea was it to switch the cruise to the weekend that the Super Bowl goes out of the place that we're cruising out of? Your mom's Thanks, blame mom. her. Thanks, mom. Thanks. I didn't think we were going to though. It was crazy. So we didn't record anything on our way here. Uh, obviously we're on the ship now, we're in the room. <laughs> but we didn't record anything on the way here because traffic is insane. So earlier you saw me complaining about traffic. I shouldn't have been complaining yet. Like, we're when we're we got even down, in the traffic. <laughs> when we got down here, it's terrible. So we put the camera away. Uh, we turned the rental car back in, met up with my parents, got in an Uber, drove here. And we made it. So we're on the ship. We're gonna give you guys a quick room tour. Uh, we're gonna go get some food. And I don't really know what else we're gonna do tonight. So we'll just bring you guys along with us. When you first walk into the room, what you're gonna see is actually what they call the picture window that looks off the very front of the ship. Outside of the room, you can see there's a walkway that actually anybody on the ship has access to, but we found nobody actually really goes out there. So we obviously have the bed, a couple nightstands, and as you turn around the room, you can see there's a little makeup area, your TV, a couple of drawers, just a little area you can get ready at. And then they actually have a mini fridge, which right now we have stocked with some of Carnival's Oh, you can't see it. Some of Carnival's beer and some sodas. They also have a little table right there for anything you'd want to put. And then as you walk towards the door, back towards the front, you can see closet with a full length mirror, a second closet, and a third closet. Not much to see there, but going into the bathroom, in the corner is the shower. They also have a toilet. And then of course, the sink area. So we went up and ate lunch at the buffet. We didn't, again, chose to not record anything because it was very crazy, chaotic. We don't want the camera in anybody's faces. Now, <laughs> we came back to the room. I took a nap for like an hour and a half and it's time to go to muster. Okay, so we just made it back from the muster drill. For those of you that don't know what the muster drill is, that's just a opportunity for them to kind of talk to you about the safety features of the boat and where to go for your lifeboat and things like that. Um, took a lot longer than we expected and that's because there was a few people that didn't show up. So for those of you that don't know, they actually scan your card. Um, you have to show up. Don't be that idiot that decides that you're just not going to go. Go to the muster drill. Don't make thousands of people wait for you to show up so that they don't have to announce your name over the intercom. So we have this room off the front of the ship and we see people outside. Yeah, what's interesting is they can't see us. They can't see me! <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like a one-way thing, so they can't oh see goodness. us, but we can see them. It's kind of I interesting. Have no clue! <laughs> it's definitely a one-way window. All right, so the ship is leaving currently, so we are in a mad dash to my parents' room. Uh, they have a pretty cool room that's got a wraparound balcony. Oop, are we still turning turn? Yes. Yeah, so they have a wraparound balcony. We're gonna try and get a time lapse of the ship leaving port. Let's go to it right now. So we made it back to the room. We both took a shower, got all dressed up. That's one of my favorite things about the cruise is I love wearing dresses every night. I do make him dress up, but 
you know. It's actually not mandatory, so if you do choose to go on a cruise, they do have more elegant nights that they do ask people to dress up. But for the rest of the evening, we are actually gonna go to dinner and go to the casino, neither of which you get to come along with us. So that's probably gonna end the video here. Thanks for watching. I was a young warthog when he was a young warthog. <laughs> Pretty closer. I My head closer. looks huge. Your head is huge. Go ahead. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm going to delete that. I was trying to get my let's go on vacation in the Okay, this is what you're going to do. <laughs> this director over here. We're both going to jump and just kind of do a wee. Okay. But you don't have to say wee. Wee, wee, wee. Okay. But get next to me. Oh, right. We gotta be at like this. Okay. Ready? I can see you in front. Go after three. Just say three. one, two, three. You go after three. We can jump a little off. Okay, ready? One, two, three. We made it. Mm -hmm. I didn't think that we... looked awkward. Let's do it again. One, two, three, go. Do you think it's straight up your shorts? <laughs>